Slack attack. But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Pure Thief build. And first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for your support on this Pure Thief build walkthrough. Um, really, thank you very much. This is fantastic. I thought that I'd set the bar too high with the Pure Mage walkthrough. But this Pure Thief walkthrough, as one viewer put it, is about to steal the show. Put him. Yeah, he's here all week, folks. Don't forget to tip your wages. Okay. And second on the agenda, honorable mention goes out to hardcore slacker DJ Red Angel, who has been helping me out with the comments um, for many months now. Yeah. Um, who is she, Slack? Is she like your friend or something? No, only virtually. I've never met her. We're like oceans apart. Nope, she's just uh, a hardcore slacker that decided to step up entirely on her own and volunteer her time and handle comments for me. And she's good at it. She's keenly aware of my Skyrim playstyle, my agenda, my motivations, and I'm a little embarrassed to admit that she actually knows my Skyrim videos better than I do. So, yeah. No, really. Uh, so she's totally competent in speaking on my behalf in the comments section. I have fully authorized this, okay? This is official. I'm like, yeah, DJ, take the ball and run with it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it because I'm a busy man. I work 12 hours a day, six days a week producing YouTube videos. Um, yeah, just saying because I'm seeing her starting to take some heat from some viewers. Like, you're not Slack. I didn't ask you the question. I asked Slack. Where's Slack? You know, so yeah, just to clear that up, I have fully authorized um, her to speak on my behalf. Next, the torches. The freaking torches. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so surprised. In episode four, was it episode four? Last episode, yeah. When we went through Ember Shard Mine and we power leveled Sneak, um, I removed 15 torches to make it dark. That's part of the strategy, you know, to remove torches. That's part of the strategy to remain sneaky. And because um, we have a rule of engagement that we're not allowed to loot anything except if it's marked as stolen, everybody and their monkey's uncle said, Slack, you looted the torches. You took the torches. You broke rule number one. Da 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 da. People! Go. I was so surprised. I was astonished to see this. First of all, people, torches are not loot. You can't sell them. Where's Tenilia? Let's just settle this right now. Okay, you see the torches in my inventory? There they are right now. And Tenilia is a fence. She'll buy anything. Work, anything. She's a general family. merchant and she's a fence. A she's a fence, rather. She'll buy anything. Do the torches appear for sale in our inventory? No, they do not. They're not there. Torches are not loot. They're just props. That's it. They're just props. I did not loot the torches. And then somebody's like, oh, well, uh, you could use the torches because, you know, um, that will save you money having to buy the candlelight spell later on. Okay. First of all, I did not ever, up to this point, use any of these torches. I simply removed them. Okay. And let's drop them right now. Okay. We're going to drop them right in the water there. There they are. They're gone. They're out of my inventory. If you want them, there they are. Go get them, okay? But, okay, the torches are now gone. Okay, next, this is the power level speech video. We're gonna power level speech. Um, let's level up, first of all. What I like to do is, you know, we're stealing. And the, the whole purpose of stealing is to make money, to sell and to make money, right? Okay, so um, the best thing we have going for us is good prices. So let's get haggling one right now, 10% better prices, and I would like to power level speech up to 30, at least 30 for now, to get the allure perk, because we're going to be doing business oh, primarily with Tonelia for the first little bit, and that probably answers the question, why did you go as a guy this time instead of a woman? That's why, because Tonelia is a woman and will get benefits by selling stuff to her with when we get the allure perk. Alright, so let's get busy and level, level up speech by doing a whole bunch of favors all around Skyrim. And we're going to start right here in Riften. First thing we're going to do is give the beggar a coin, which will give us a bonus. I'll show you. It's called the Gift of Charity and increases your speech by 10 for about an hour. 
This happens every time you give a beggar a coin. Okay. There's Snilf. Sure, I love that sure. name. Find my Budweiser. Look in your active effects, and we now have the Fortify Persuasion perk. The Gift of Charity. Speech crafts is increased by 10 points for one hour. If you look in your magic screen, you see my speech is highlighted in green, which means that we're getting a bonus, get, getting a 10 point bonus. All right, so let's start um, twisting people's arms and conning them and, and whatnot, because that's part of what thieves do. Starting with this guy, Shatter, what kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone, and I think they cheated me. I don't know what to do. Tell me the details. I was able to work out a deal with the stables in Whiterun to sell me some of their tack and harnesses. I borrowed some gold from Sapphire to pay for the shipment, but it got robbed before it even arrived. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Okay. Let us help you with your debt. You will? Yep. Oh, thank you. Okay, this will help Love Love's speech. Be careful with Sapphire. Yeah, she we know. Sapphire's in the B and Barb usually during the day. Any luck with Sapphire? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it, okay? Go outside and wait for me. All right, here's Sapphire right here. Sapphire. Yeah. What's your problem? I want to ask you about Shatter's debt. Back off. This action's all mine. No room for anyone else in the guild on this one. Okay, do me a favor and drop the debt. Why should I bother? I've already made a bunch of coin off of his shipment, so anything else I squeeze out of him would be a bonus. Mm-hmm. Oh, How wait a second. I see what this is. You want me to cut you in, or you'll wrap me out to bring you off. Tell you what. I'll give you a share right now if you forget the whole thing. Tell you what, why don't I just rat you out to bring you off? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> calm down. Let's just think about this for a moment. You win. Tell yeah, Shotgun to forget the debt. And... I hope we bump into each other again. That should have leveled up speech, but it probably didn't roll it over enough to, to level it up. Looking for work? I need someone to deliver a message to Sibby Blackbriar. Okay, what sort of message? Ah, well... I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. Okay. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Okay. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Can do. And I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse's worth. Can do. Sounds easy enough. Good man. You All won't right. regret it. All right then. Okay, now we're going to table that for a later date, the whole Working getting the frost thing. We just did that so we could do a couple of speech checks. Um, did Shatter leave? He's probably up near the stables, that's okay. Okay, let's go talk to Maul. I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Just passing through. Yeah, well I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And who are the Black Briars? The Black Briars have rifted in their pocket. That's nice. Me? I'm Maul. I watch the streets for them. If you need dirt on anything, I'm your guy. Okay. But it'll cost you. Dirt, huh? I'm not exactly clean myself. Then we're speaking the there same go. language. Level up speech. Good. So what do you want to know? Nothing. We just came to level up speech. I'm Next, <laughs> let's go to talk to... Ungrian, I believe his name is, in the Black Briar Meadery. This guy right here. Welcome. Allow me to recommend the Black Briar Mead, the purest brew in all of Skyrim. Well, I'm kind of partial to hunting brew mead, but um, hey, tell me about your employer. Maybe I'll switch over. She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Why, just this last week, I was commenting to my fellow meadery workers just how lucky we are to be working for such a charitable family. Okay, you want to stop reading from the brochure and tell me the real story? Look, if there I'm caught level saying level anything bad about the meadery or the family, I'm a dead man. I'm the fourth person to work the tasting counter in the last year. The last three are at the bottom of Lake Honrick. Just take my advice and just get out of Riften as soon as you can. Okay, take my advice. Maybe quit your job. <laughs> Next. This quest here promises to keep this whole thing that we got off the dude there, Louis Latrush, 
We can get two speech checks, win two speech checks by simply talking to the guard at the gate. After ripped in jail, which is up here in Missville Keep, off to the right here. Down here and talk to the guard. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. Bite me. Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, uh, you can go on ahead. Yeah, thank you very much. Love, love speech on that. Let's go talk to CB Blackbear. CB, my man. <laughs> so they caught you, eh? Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Uh, I'll take gawk for 500, Alex. No, I, I was sent by Louis Latrush. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. See, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Okay. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Tell you what. Steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Okay, uh, I got a better idea. Um, I bet Maven would pay me even more. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. <laughs> don't mind okay, if I do. Fine, <laughs> I, I can did. make the deal sweeter. <laughs> Picking your nose. Obviously, don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. Take it. Okay, and like I said, we'll table that for a later date. Of the thief's guild, or so they'd have you believe. So lies. Finally, this dude in the thieves guild, Dirge. We can twist his arm for a little speech leveling. But before we do that, I think it's time to put the smack down on the headmaster of the orphanage. I just love doing this. Those who shirk their duties will there. extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes bro. Bro. Dude. It's grilling. Okay, kids, fly, be free. You're on your own now. Yeah, that is for uh, something we're going to do later with um, the Dark Brotherhood and acquiring some of their gear. Okay, let's return to the Thieves Guild. Through the back door, of course, because the Ratway still has, you know bunch of bad guys in it. We don't want to run into them. Obviously. Dirge is in here. Nope, that's Delvin, Brignell, Tanilia. There's Dirge. All eyes are Dirge. You, Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Okay, why do they call you Dirge? They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Why? You think it's funny or something? Yeah, it is kind of funny. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. <laughs> you're pretty smart. Hey, here. Have one on the house. Okay, we love Lost Peace doing that. And... Oh, you can ask him another question. Remind me, why do they call you Dirge? I already told you. They call me Dirge because I'm the last thing you hear before they put you in the ground. Okay. That's all we're going to get out of here. Okay. Until it gives you a free time. bottle of Blackbriar Mead, and that's it for the Power Living speech in Riften. So that brought us up to level 24. We're getting a bonus from the Gift of Charity. Tell you what, let's establish our headquarters here in the Thieves Guild. Let me just do a quick save here just in case the game, in case the game crashes. Um, this is going to be our headquarters. And like I said, the rules of engagement allow us to loot everything in the Thieves Guild. We're not going to do that now. I just want to clear up some, some key containers. This container, this container, and a container over there by the alchemy table. All right. And you get almost another, let's just grab all these things here, almost another free complete set of these guild gear here. It's just missing the armor. And there's another complete set of these guild gear in the archery room over there. I'll show you that later when we completely loot this place. This is going to be our general goods table, our general goods end table. This is going to be our smithing materials 
chest. Take all that stuff we're allowed to. And over here, this end table is going to be for ingredients, obviously, because it's right beside the alchemy table. Okay, so let's just dump all our ingredients in here now. Okay, great. So we've set up an alchemy station. All smithing materials go in here. Just keeping things nice and organized. Um, that will include precious gems as well. So anything to do with smithing like hides, ingots, leather, etc. Silver ingot, steel ingot. Works for me. Let's dump some of this junk into this guy here. Oh, leather strips. Okay, we'll take those. And some of this stuff is completely worthless, like the charcoal, the tankards, and the plate. Everything else. Keep the broom, because that might be useful. And finally, the general goods table. Let's just dump everything, because as we're out there <laughs> living the life of crime, you know, being a total criminal, we may run into some problems with the authorities. At which point we don't want to be caught with any of our stolen goods. Right? Okay, we'll keep all the Thieves Guild gear on for now, just like, you know, that's not stolen. Actually, I can't think of any, any of this that would come in handy, really, except maybe the lockpicking. Anyways, uh, all the potions go in. I'm going to sell all this stuff later once we level up speech. books and finally all this stuff keep the gold need some cab fare not the lock picks and there we have it our carry weight is down to a nice and light 11 pounds great that's all we're bringing on board okay let's get busy Now, uh, <laughs> the hired thugs, in case you don't know, hired thugs get sent after you whenever you steal something or murder someone in Skyrim. And that's even if you don't get caught stealing. It's just a given. If you've stolen something, you will get hired thugs sent after you. Um, in practice runs, they were always waiting here for me at Riften Stables. What I want to do is, is just hire a carriage to Solitude. We're going to have to work quickly because they're going to be right there. We might be able to take the carriage before they show up and accost us. Okay, so that's the plan. Let's go for it. Need a I can take you to any... Where do you want to go? Solitude, please. Climb and back and we'll be off. We're here to teach you... There they are. Ah! Ah! Gonna go! Go! Punch it, Chewie! I <laughs> just got away in time. <laughs> okay, yeah, not quite ready to deal with those guys yet. We're we are gonna kill them though. We're gonna, we're gonna get them off our ears. Yeah, because we we can't have them chasing us around till the end of time. Okay, let's just go down here to discover Catless Farm. Here we go, and let's make a run up to Solitude. <laughs> It's a hard road, being a thief. If you've come to solid everybody, always, everybody always wants a piece of you. Okay, three speech checks we're going to do it here in Solitude. Angeline, Yvette, and Octave. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Let's start with Angeline. And a lot of the people here are still... This is what happens when you first arrive in Solitude. This whole hanging scene. Um, Angeline is she's still be in her shop though. Okay. 
Okay, and we can do a favor for her. What the hell are you doing behind the counter? Angeline, you changed. <laughs> there she is. You know what? You this is a perfect time bored, stranger. to see if we can rip off a potion of haggling, which is right here. Got it. Great. Okay, we're going to thoroughly loot her shop later on. Oh, okay, she's suspicious. I think there's another one over here. Or maybe upstairs. Okay, Angeline. You're a traveler, correct? Yes, I am. Have you been to Whiterun? In fact, we have. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. Okay, you want to hustle would, that up here? I haven't heard from her lately. Okay. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Okay. Uh, I haven't met her, but I could try to get more information. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome. Captain yet. Aldous, got it. Okay. Okay, now, I'm if you decide to play ahead, um, I have plans to completely rip off Angeline's shop. So, when you do this favor, just get the speech check off Captain Aldous, but don't complete it. First rip off um, Angeline, otherwise all most of the stuff in her shop will be marked, you'll be able to take it, it won't be marked as steel anywhere. Um, so Captain Aldous is usually here, he's probably, he's at the hanging. Or not behind you, PP heading. Let's just wait till, say. Daytime. There he is. Okay. Did you have a good beheading? Everything come off okay? <laughs> okay. Need something? Uh. Captain, Angela has sent me to ask about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. Uh, I believe I have to give the beggar a coin. I'll be right back. Keep yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, because my speech isn't high enough. Yeah, you need speech 25 to pull this off. It's a good thing I remember that. Okay, let's go give the beggar a coin. New in town, right? And if you need a place to sleep. Hey, Spare Noster. Some gold for a veteran? Sure. Have a Budweiser, I mean. Oh, thank you. Okay, once again, get Goodbye. the gift of charity. Fortify persuasion. Take a look at your speech. It's now 34. Kind heart. It's best you leave me. Yeah, we were just one, for, one short. I believe you need speech 25 to pull this off. Okay, now we're ready. Captain, Angela sent me to ask about her daughter. Generally posting information. Yeah, we went through that. No, only. I think Angela needs to know. I, there we go. I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to White Run. The skirmishes there have been violent. The White Run legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to. That's nice. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. Okay, we'll tell her. Thank you very much. Next. Like I said, don't tell Angeline, Angeline the news until you've completely ripped her off, ripped off her shop. Yvette in the market. It's usually right here. Fletching suits. You wouldn't me. have a few it's minutes to run down to the docks, would you? Tedious. Yeah, well, sure. Why not? Well, I've got a shipment like of spices the of East God. Empire Company is holding up. I need someone to convince them to release it. Okay, I can do that. Great. Get back to me when you're done, and I'll give you something for your time. Good luck out there. Okay, Seems convince like Vittoria Vici to release the spiced wine shipment. Let's unhook that, go to miscellaneous, hook that up, find out where she is. She is right there, she's in town. There she is right there. Great. Hmm? Yvette Sorry, San asked me to check on her I shipment of spice. Uh, yes. If she wants to pay the two thousand gold, two thousand gold, then we'll be all set. Nah, 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 nah. She can't afford that. She can barely afford to, you know, her stand at the market. Come on. I suppose I could make an exception. There we go. 
I do like her spiced wine. Fine. Tell Yvette's son her shipment will be brought up to Solitude shortly. Okay, great. Otherwise, you have to go all the way down to the East Empire Shipping Company at the docks. So it's great that we caught her in town. Next, let's talk to Octave in the Winking Skeever. This is an ode to Skyrim's Octave. staunch protectors, the Imperials. Bell Rams. We drink to our youth, to the days come and gone, for the age of aggression is just about done. Okay, let's wait an hour or two, see if we can... The storm cloaks I'll just skip ahead to when I find them. Wait a minute, what time is it? Oh, he could be at the Temple of Divines. We have to go there anyways. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. There he is. Of the eight divines upon you. How may I Octave, you're in debt advice. to earn Never Scar? Gamble. Too many drinking games, too many bets. And I'm too old to ever raise the coin on my own. Okay, what have I talked to Ernskar for you? He's a stubborn oaf. I don't know what good it'll do. Oh, we have our ways. Speak to my daughter, Yvette. She's the brains of the family. Oh yeah, okay. Let us walk in the steps of the divine. Whole family needs help. Blessings okay, let's hit the Shrine of Zenithar to get 10% better prices. This will probably, uh completely wear out when we finally get to our big selling session with Tenelia. We'll have to refresh it. But there may be some things we want to buy on the way. Okay, so now we have another favorite quest. Oh yeah, we have to go back to Yvette, so let's do let's complete that one first. As high priest of mm, the spice wine for you, it's a family recipe. East Empire Company is sending up your spices. Thank you so much. I swear it's a fight with them every shipment. Here's something for your troubles. And she gives us a couple of spiced wine. <laughs> Thanks Good a lot. Good luck out there. See for seven bucks each. Thanks a lot there, Yvette. Thanks a lot. Okay, next. At least we level up speech doing that. Miscellaneous, uh, tell Ernskar about Octave, and Ernskar is... Right now he's in the Radiant Raiment. Yeah, that time, it, between 10 and noon, he hangs out here for some reason. And he also hangs out at the Blacksmith Station in the afternoon. I guess he likes to flirt with, uh... These women here. I've always found them upstairs milling around. Okay, she thinks I'm gonna steal something. There he is. <laughs> Ernskar! When I was a young rascal, I broke a man's arm with a single punch. Of course, I had a horseshoe hidden in my glove. Is that right? Okay, that's very honorable of you. Uh, I like you to forgive Octave's debts. Debts are debts. Either he pays them, or his kind do. Okay, how about if I put a horseshoe in my glove and let you have it? Fine. You sound like a priest of Mara, but I get your point. <laughs> Tell him to forget about the gold. Keep your sword arm strong. Okay, so. Out of the way there, Andari. Okay, so we got speech up to 27. Excellent. And just want to make sure I spent a point in haggling one. Yes, we did. It's probably going to roll over before we can get to 30, but at least it'll be right there. Next on the agenda, just checking my notes here. Yeah, there's a lot of things to do. Um, Whiterun. 
A couple of speech checks in White Run. Divines bless you. We've already been there, so all we had we just like Looks like it's after hours. Yes it is, okay. So once again let's wait till business time. Hopefully the higher thugs won't show up, but once again I'm pretty sure they don't spawn inside walled cities. The officer. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, Carlotta. Somebody's been harassing her. With my mother, sell fruits and vegetables. Food and fresh vegetables for sale. Straight from the fields and orchards of White Run to your table. She doesn't have this option. Okay, I think I know why this is not this. The proper dialogue is not. Uh, because we have an outstanding favor quest for, um... Okay, looks like we're gonna have to do that. So, looks like we're gonna have to rip off, um, Angeline right now. Okay, let's do it. Let's go back to Solitude. This could be the one that's botching it up, too. Tell Octave, yeah, let's take care of this. Octave is right there. Being old's not so bad. Okay, Ernstgar has agreed to forgive your debt. You've done a fine thing for me. You know, I used to be quite a warrior in my day. Let me show you a thing or two. You should speak to my he daughter. up two-handed. Okay. She's the brains of the family. Okay. This should do it. Because in practice runs, this worked out okay. Leaving Angeline's uh, favor quest outstanding didn't botch anything else up. So this should be the one that. Uh, okay, let's go try it with. Uh, I spent a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Need more experience if I'm going to there she is. Someday. Okay, Carlotta. Here we go. Something giving you trouble? Me. That's the one you're but looking that for. Bard is the worst. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mayor, Trust saying he'll conquer me as a true no Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. And by conquer, you mean in the biblical sense, right? <laughs> okay, what if we talk to Mikael for you? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Okay, now our speech needs to be 25 to pull this off. It is at 25 naturally now, so we don't have to give the beggar a coin or anything. Maybe just double check that. Let me know if you want anything. Yeah, we're at 27, naturally. And we're just about to level up. Um, Mikal is right here. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once right. Mikhail gets them, they're got. You need to leave Carlotta alone, all right? Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> Dreamer, no, she's mine, okay? So just back off. <sighs> I, I guess right. I just didn't want anyone to think I couldn't handle one. Here he goes, real level up. Honor, I won't bother Carlotta ever again. See if it, you don't. Advice, we drink. All right, now we're not going to level up. Okay, be sure that you don't. No, nothing. nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Carlotta, Mikael won't be bothering you anymore. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? Yep. I thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. And she pays you rather handsomely for this 250 gold. Okay, we're not going to level up because um, we have speech, um, not speech, skill trading purchase rights for this level. I don't want to waste them. Um, next, sorry, is 
Yasilda, who's in the blue dress. Once I Devil in the blue dress. Trading with the Khajiit caravans, I'm going to buy the bannered mare from Holda. Okay, and ask her you're looking to become a merchant. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. Okay, we can help you. You do that? Yep. If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Alright, so she'll level up your speech for free if you simply bring her a mammoth tusk. Now, of course, we can't loot a mammoth tusk. We're gonna have to find someone who has one we can steal. And there's one at Dragon's Reach in the Jarl's study. There's also a couple more in the Arcanium in the College of Winterhold. Alright, now this is going to continue the main quest line. And as you may or may not know, as soon as we become friends with the Jarl, everything in the kitchen becomes free to take. Right now it's marked as steel. So if we want those ingredients, we got to take them now. So let's just uh, face off with Irelith here. That's nice. We have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Okay, now, we'll just back off. Don't speak to the Jarl yet, but like I said, you take a good look around and then we can steal all these ingredients here. Especially the garlic. And the frost maria. Make sure nobody's watching. I make this look easy, eh? but I can't tell you, I can't even begin to tell you how nerve-wracking this is. This is the most stressful walkthrough I've ever done, doing all these thieving, and like, you know, try it. The idea that you might get caught any second. Okay, there's three more garlic right here. Carefully take those. Some more elves here. here. And we're going to leave the booze, because we've got enough booze now. There's some more elves here downstairs, but um, I'm just going to leave that. Okay, so we got everything from the kitchen that we want. Let's go talk to the Jarl now. So, you were at Helgen. Indeed we were. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? And I'll just fast track this dialogue because we've seen it a bazillion times. My court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay, and it's off to see Ferengar. Can we like not the fire? Oh, hey. <laughs> it was silver sapphire necklace, but zero chance to steal. Ferengar, I think I found someone who can help you with your. Dragon project. <laughs> Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes. Well, when I say fetch. Okay, I get to the point. Straight to the point, eh? Yep. No need for tedious housing. Okay. I uh learned. Go Bleak to Falls Barrel. Falls Got it. Okay. Are you the only no. wizard in White Ren? I believe I am. Yes. Deliver some frost salts ah, to Arcadia, can't do. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts sure. for me? Good. You're clearly better suited this than I am to carry out such a menial task. Anything okay, we now, th we're doing that because we're going to get some uh, free potions out of her. But once again, before we do that, we're going to rip her off. Because as soon as we do that, all the um, ingredients, or most of the ingredients in her shop will be will no longer be marked as steel. Okay, so we're getting the best of both worlds here. Now, we're in here, the Jarl's quarters. 
to get the mammoth tusk, which is right up here and in this room here. And just shut the door and look right up there and there's the mammoth tusk and it's marked as steel so we could take it and we might as well take these silver ingots as well. And that's that. Okay, so now we can return to Yasolda, Yasolda, and level of speech. Again. Once I've made enough money trading with the Khajiit caravans, yeah, I'm going we got to your have mammoth better... tusk. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. There we go. So speech up to 29, which is perfect. Farewell. All right. That's where you want it. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.